We're here with Chauncey Accurate, one of our performers for our Sunday program. This is our classical cabaret concert number 13. Tell us a little bit about the two pieces that you'll be playing on our program. Well, I'm going to be playing with Michelle Abraham and Megan Joffrey Prinz, and we are playing one movement of the Debussy G Major Piano Trio. And then we are additionally doing another movement of the Schubert E flat Piano Trio. So for audiences who have never heard these two pieces, what can you expect from this music? We're playing a slow movement of the Debussy, so it's very um, typically linear and, and beautiful melodic Debussy, and it's contrasted by a slightly more rigid yet very melodic uh, movement from the Schubert E flat. So basically, I think that the, the Schubert is basically the best music ever written, so <clears throat> I think this is a, a great introduction to piano trios for those who are not familiar with this type of repertoire. Is, is chamber music your preferred way of making music, or do you, do you usually work as a soloist? <laughs> I wish I usually <laughs> worked as a soloist. I primarily do chamber music. Um, I have spent a lot of time over my collegiate years playing in orchestras, and I, I would have to say I would probably prefer to be playing orchestra music, but chamber music is such an essential part of a musician's life that it's, you know, it's it's hard not to just love playing chamber music, so that's, that's why I'm here doing what we do. Now you've been one of our regular performers for, for music. What is it like playing in this type of setting? Small homes, community <coughs> centers, what can audiences expect from this type of setting? Well, as we are both aware, chamber music started off in these intimate settings in people's homes as entertainment. and. What is truly unique, in my opinion, about this organization is that we are recreating the original intended environment. And it creates an intimacy that I think the audience can really truly feel and feed off of. And as a musician, it, it really kind of makes you step up to the plate a little bit. It makes you highly aware of the emotions that are involved in chamber music, the way that you see an audience respond to what you're doing, and it's live music, you know? That's, that's kind of what's so charming about it, so. So, Chauncey, how, how did you come to be a musician? You're from San Francisco, mm -hmm. and you did some studying in, in Michigan, then you came to Cleveland mm -hmm. uh, after Rice. Um, tell us about your um, development as a musician. Well, my mom is a pianist, and I, well, a lot of members of my family participated in music in some form. My dad was a police officer and my mom was a piano teacher and so I think my parents both often kind of fought over which child was going to do what because my dad was always pushing athletics and my mom was always pushing music. And so my older brother was a cellist and also a cellist. I just wanted to play what he was playing. So. I actually started off as a violin player for maybe two or three years, and then I chose to deviate and I went into cello, and I am not upset that I made that decision. What's your favorite repertoire to play? Probably the romantic, like, <clears throat> I, I know it's it's fairly cliche to say this, but, you know, playing a Rachmaninoff melody or a Brahms melody, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful experience, and it's just, it's the kind of stuff that gives you goosebumps, you know? That's that intangible aspect of music making that really, truly makes you feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. And for me, Brahms, Rachmaninoff, Beethoven, you know, that doesn't get much better than those composers. You're involved in some of our programs coming up. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, later on in May, I am going to be a part of another concert for this organization. I will be playing the Schubert Double Cello Quintet, which is also <laughs> another it's wonderful piece. The best music. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lots of uh, featured cello melodies. And in addition to that, I'm going to be playing in a couple cello quartets. Oh, which ones? That I think we're still figuring out, but I believe that there there may be a Bach Chacon for okay. a violin rewritten for four cellos and couple other pieces that, as you said, we will figure out later on. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, April the 10th, for our concert. 
The doors open at 3 p.m. and the music starts at 3.30. Hope to see you there.